Good evening, Paul Salvatore, Interim Director. Uh, as you can see, we have our mission statement, working with all organizations, businesses, and groups in the Newtown community to create an alliance to maintain, develop, promote Newtown as a great place to live, worship, work, and shop. Uh, on the back side of that page, if you guys look, you'll see our purpose, why we were incorporated. You'll see all the different things we've been asked to do or we should do or can do based on our bylaws. There's many, many things, but what we've decided to work on is, as Frank said, working with groups. There's a lot of groups out there already doing things. We don't need to redo them. We need to work with them. There's several activities that we're planning. We've talked to different retailers about doing a first Saturday event. It would be similar to the first Friday that we used to have, AHA, but different in the sense that it's Saturday in the afternoon. We would have carriage rides. We have Sycamore Street already involved. We've talked to real, re, uh, retailers on State Street, and we would also have the restaurants involved. We now have a restaurant committee, and that's important because that is one of the single biggest things we have in Newtown. People come to town here all the time to eat. They'll shop, but they come here to eat, and they love it. And the, re and the restaurants have said, hey, if people go shopping on these days, these Saturdays, they spend money and they bring a receipt, and we'll offer them special promotions. You know, it's different groups working together to pull in the same direction. Restaurant week, we've established to be uh, April 25th to the 9th, or 29th, and that's usually uh, it's a Mon or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the restaurant committee is now enlisting everybody and putting the menus together. Uh, we've already designed the uh, front cover, and one of the other events is uh, Newtown Uncorked that we're doing. We have uh, restaurant week, and on top of that, we always have the ever popular brew fest, which we're doing. So what I'm going to do is take these real quick and just let you pass these down so you can look at the different fronts. I think it's important to remember what Frank was saying that we accomplish what we can by working together, not as individuals. And I think that's important. Newtown Uncorked is our wine fest. It will be on May 22nd. It will be held out at Newtown Swim Club. And it's a combination of the Bucks County Wine Trail, the Newtown Business Commons Association, and Newtown Corporation. Three groups working together. Uh, we've met the last several weeks, and we're about ready to put the finishing touches on it and start marketing it. Our new website will be up by the end of the month. It should be uh, correlated in time to come out with the Newtown Business and Professional Association's Community Guidebook. These are some of the things that we have been working on besides Brewfest, a music fest, and other ideas. But there's also the, the part that I think so far that I've been impressed with was the fact that we've been called by a couple organizations to work with them. We've worked with Sycamore Street Association and Newtown Presbyterian Church to help them with their Strawberry Fest and to tie it in to make it a bigger event for them. And Frank and I met with them last Friday and we were very encouraged by their support. And they were very excited with the possibilities of being able to get the marketing that they think they need for their event, which we'll be glad to do. And it also happens to be a first Saturday. So we love it. We're going to have carriage rides. We're working on setting it up. And that's all what we're trying to do. It's about community. It's about drawing people to Newtown. We recently had a great article in Philadelphia Magazine talking about one of the 10 best places. And it's Newtown that, you know, it's the people. We need more involvement from our residents. We don't have it. We need to get more involved, and we'd like to see that. We recently held a unification and communication brunch this past Sunday over at the new hotel out in the Commons. Uh, the food was provided by uh, Joe Garvey of Joey G's. We had over 40 people attend, many representatives from different organizations, and I think it was well received. I know John attended, and Perry, I thank you both for coming. I know Gerard and Bob had other commitments and couldn't make it. But I think it's just the idea of seeing all these different groups come together, which hadn't been done in a long time, uh, not since we had done our visioning. We had talked about it in Newtown Corp about doing this and doing it over and over. It had not gotten done. It is now being done. In fact, the hotel would like me to let everyone know that on the 21st of this month of March, they're having an opening and it's open to the public, so anybody can attend. And they're asking, come on out, take a look at the new hotel, walk around. And I think, you know, John, you'll agree, and Perry, it's a great facility. And it's going to be a great asset to the community. They're already figuring out how they can 
co-op with different businesses in town, restaurants to cross-communicate and cross-promote. I think that's part of what we need to be focusing on as Newtown Corp going forward. And I think we've reached some of our objectives already. We have more to go, but working together, it can happen. So that's, that's how I'm going to leave this. On a positive note, we need to work together. Thank you.